Hi, my name is Talabi Jimmy. In this video, we are going to be looking at how diseases develop and how to identify plant diseases on a tomato farm. Diseases are the enemy to potential tomato yield. No matter how great your fertilizer program is, soil quality, water management, and choice of good variety. If you fail to manage diseases on your tomato farm, of course, your potential yield will be compromised. Diseases only occur if they are a combination of these three factors. Conducive environment, for example, damp leaves, especially through the night. Susceptible host, for example, weak plant stands. Variety without resistance. Virulent pathogen, for example, harmful strain of bacteria, fungi, virus, and nematodes. First, you must understand that you are your plant doctor, which means as human doctor, who first of all diagnose his patient's condition before recommending treatment. You must also know how to diagnose your tomato plant diseases so as to make informed decisions on what to use. The first thing to do when diagnosing your crop for disease is to look at the leaves and the stem to identify any form of abnormalities. By standing by the perimeters of your farm, of course, if it is a thriving farm, you aren't going to notice any symptoms afar off. By the way, what is symptoms? Symptoms are expressions that are present on the leaves, stem, fruit, and even root, showing the presence of pathogenic microorganisms, which is often referred to as coarser agents. You will then need to walk through the farm in between the rows, eye, and look intently at any form of spot, decoloration, mildew, rot, on the leaves, fruit, or stem, or deformed leaves, mosaic or cord. When this is identified, it will give you red flag that there is something wrong. Before this begins to spread, you will then need to apply an intervention to nip the problem in the bulb. Always remember that diseases are best controlled by using preventive approaches rather than curative. Some aggressive preventive interventions may even be required if your neighbor's farm is infected and you want to prevent such spreading to yours. Some of the most common diseases of tomato are tomato wilt, to be fusarium, particillium, and bacteria. Blight could be early or late. Spots on the leaves or stem phytostora and damping up. So when symptoms are identified, the question that will come will now be how can I control this? What kind of intervention? Some of the intervention strategies to deploy are irrigate only in the morning or do not irrigate through the night. It's an example of cultural method. Remove the infected leaves and bury afar off is an example of physical method. Eliminate or reduce the weeds to increase ventilation is an example of cultural method. Staking but not necessary in dry season is an example of cultural method. Prune off the old leaves for determinate varieties is an example of cultural method. Spray fungicide for both curative and preventive measures is an example of chemical method. Now that you understand how to identify diseases on your tomato farm, the next video will show you how to do scouting and apply intervention strategies. Thank you for watching. Bye.